Hello everyone, I am Piyush Vairade. So, this is the fourth lecture of our database management and warehousing part for our GATE DA exam. So, in the previous lecture, that is lecture 3, we have discussed about intro to ER model. Okay. So, we have discussed what is ER model, what are what is entity, what is relationship, what are the different types of attributes are there, right? different types of entities. ER diagram symbols also, which one is pretty important. For example, point of view, ER diagram symbols we have discussed and mapping cardinalities also we have discussed. So, in this video, we are going to discuss some previous year gate questions. Previous year gate question based on the topic that we have discussed in the lecture 3. Okay. So, let's start with the question. So, this is the first question. This has been asked in the gate CSE 2020 20. Okay, so which one of the following is used to represent the supporting minute to one relationship of a weak entity set in an entity relationship diagram? So, if you remember in the last lectures, we discussed about different types of relationship and also the various ER diagram symbols also. Now, what question is asking us? Which of the following is used to represent the supporting supporting minute to one relationships? of weak entity set in an entity relationship diagram. So in the previous lecture, if you remember, we have discussed about weak identifying relationship, right? Identifying relationship. So if you remember the example that we have discussed about, uh, we have employee, right? We have employee as an entity, then employees pur purchasing an insurance policy, and uh, the employee is having the nominee for the insurance policy, right? So nominee is one of the entity, right? And we ha here we have relationship that is insurance policy, right? The insurance policy. But what we have said, the nominee is only exist when the employee purchases the insurance policy, right? Otherwise, nominee will not exist because uh, when you when someone purchases insurance policy, then only we have to fill the nominee. Right? So this nominee is completely dependent on this employee right so this entity is completely dependent on this employee entity so that's why this is weak entity set right and since this nominee is completely dependent upon this particular entity employee so it should have total participation in the relationship so that's why there is double line right like this and also like what is uh, identifying relationship the relationship associated with the weak entity is known as identifying relationship and that is represented by a double diamond shape like this. Okay? So we have discussed this example in detail in the previous lecture. So please watch that lecture. So here according to this condition, our correct option will be the diamonds with the double border. Right. So this is the correct option because it is used to represent weak identifying relationship. Okay. So we have discussed ER diagram symbols. So this question can be solved directly from that one particular slides only. Okay, so please watch that video first. Now moving on to the next question. Uh, this question has been asked in ISRO CSE 2018. So an ER model Y is dominant entity and X is subordinate entity. So in the same example, like previous example here you can see employee is a strong entity, nominee is a weak entity because if employee didn't purchase the insurance policy, nominee entity will not exist, right? So nominee, so employee entity can be called as dominant entity here. And here nominee is called as subordinate entity. Right? So same question is based on this. So Y is dominant entity and X is subordinate entity. So if X is related, then Y is also related. If y is deleted, then x is also deleted. If y is deleted, then x is not deleted, right? So we have condition like this. This is y. This is the relationship. Right? The identifying relationship. We have this is x, right? Double participation with the weak entity set. Right? Same case as uh, in the previous slide. So if this table x deletes, so if this x entity is deleted, so why is why will delete no because if you delete the nominee it, it does not mean that the employee who has purchased the insurance that column will also get so that relation will also be deleted no so first option is not correct if y is if y is deleted then x is also deleted yes if we delete the employee record 
then this corresponding nominee will also get deleted right because nominee is dependent on this particular employee so that's why the option b is correct if y is selected then x is also deleted okay this is not this is correct so i i hope you understand this particular question and uh, this particular explanation okay same in the case of uh, this example also okay? so please watch the previous lecture we have discussed this in the detail the next question is gates csc 2018 so here if an entity relationship diagram model suppose r is minute to one relationship so what is minute to one relationship we have this relationship because diamond is used to represent the relationship and rectangle is used to represent the entity right so what is minute to one m is to one so one is on the arrow side so if we draw arrow like this so this indicate one this indicate m right so from entity set to entity one so is also important we need to one from entity set to entity one this is e1 and this is e2 right so e1 to e2 we have minute to one relationship assume that e1 is participate totally in r so assume e1 and e2 both participate totally in r so we represent total participation by a double line right so this will be the representation of a e1 ER diagram and that cardinality of e1 is greater than the cardinality of e2 then which of the following is true every entity e1 associated with exactly one entity in e2 so what this total participation uh, indicates so like every entity in this particular uh, entity set should be associated with another entity in the uh, e2 right that's what total participation is so our option a is correct every entity is even associated with exactly one entity in e2 uh, let's see other options also some entity in even associated with more than one entity this is not correct because uh it will not guarantee total participation every entity in e2 is associated with exactly one entity in e1 so this so this will guarantee total participation but it will not guarantee many to one relationship because every entity in associated with exactly one entity in e2 no that is not correct it will not guarantee many to this is not correct so every entity in e2 at most one entity this is also not correct so only the correct option is option a every entity in e1 is associated with exactly one entity in e2 not watch the previous lecture so please watch the so please watch it first and then you can come back to this particular question okay so next question is gate csc 2012 so in the given the basic er relation model which of the following is incorrect attribute of entity can have more than one values this is correct that is multi-valued attribute right represent by a double ellipse then we have attribute of an entity can be composite as this composite attribute is there like this we have discussed the example of a uh, address right address can be composed attribute of pin code and say street number in the row of relational algebra an attribute can have more than one value this is not correct right? in the entity in the ER diagram we can represent by multiple attribute but in the in the case of uh, relation algebra we cannot have we cannot have more than one value in a particular set this is not correct we have also discussed this in the previous lecture in the lecture three so this question is directly from that only so please watch, watch it in the row of relation diagram attribute can have exactly one value so null value yes this is also correct so option c is not correct so the correct option is uh, incorrect one is the c c option is correct one right because it is incorrect yeah so this is the question asked in history exam 2017 uh, which symbol you know derived attribute in er diagram so one more question based on er symbols right so remember you can expect one question so one question will be there from er diagram symbols okay er symbols so please watch the previous lecture you will get one mark based on that uh, particular video itself it is uh, hardly it will take 20 25 minutes uh, please watch it entirely so you can easily get one mark based on that so which symbol uh, do you know their attribute double ellipse indicate for material attribute dash ellipse is used for derived attribute right derived attribute dash ellipse like this right so this is correct one option b is correct so square lip uh, we don't have such if symbols lips with attribute name underline so attribute name underline is basically a key attribute right 
So correct option is AI Lift that is derived attribute. So I hope we understand uh, this particular question. So if you have any doubt in the five, uh, in the question that we have discussed, we have discussed five question based on ER model. So yeah, you can comment below. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's it from my side. So please watch the previous lectures. It will help you to solve this particular questions. So there are a few more questions based on ER model. Uh, but it requires some additional concept that we are going to cover in the next video. Okay. Thank you.